Hello guys and welcome to my uh, video tutorial number 31 and I'm sorry guys because I promise you I know I promised you from the last video that we would uh, start doing the search engine application to our CRUD test site. The problem is that I found some problems with the code uh, or uh, in the script of insert.php and I want to um, change a little things in the script here okay uh, this is the script that uh, processes all the, the information about the form the register form okay um, but I want to improve some uh, little things and um, what I want is to make sure that we have uh, cool and clean scripts and we can uh, we can have the most functionality possible uh, in the script, okay, um, for a better use in the web page. So uh, to start, I want to I want you guys to go to the form and and the name here. I'm going to show you how uh, we can make. A limit, a character size limit in the inputs. Okay, because let's open the the browser. I don't want a user to register a name with a uh, hundred characters, right? And I don't want to have in my database uh, large data uh, in the name fields or in the email fields or whatever. Okay, so let's go to localhost slash test side if I click register and I click here 111 I'm still typing one and it goes on okay I don't want that okay I want to have a limit size here and email as well and also um, a size limit to the passwords so to do that we go here and after name we type max length equals and now we type the number of the characters size limit that we want so I want to be the name to be 15 and the max length of the email is going to be 30 and um, let me copy this paste paste and in here passwords let's give it um, a 15 as well okay so let's save this and um, insert let's go to insert.php now and I want to change a little thing here which is this this if statement which is this if statement that uh, brings the message error name already exists please type, uh, please type another name okay so what if is this if uh, the does is to find if uh, there's any rows with the username already the same username in the database the same username that we are using uh, or post in the register form, right? If there is a row, so we are saying if count is not equal to zero, it's because there's uh, one or more than one row with that name. So we process this code, okay? Uh, die the connection uh, and error name already exists, blah, 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 okay? But I don't want that. So let's take this out. I'm going to show you why. I want to echo here let's echo um, this name is already registered and please type another name okay and here let's type else open curly braces and we are going to close the curly braces in in here 
after the echo that says you have successfully registered okay so basically we're saying if there's a row with the same name do this if not if there's not a row insert the new name in the um, database okay so this is um, this is a better coding for the script and now what I want you guys to see is the check my own okay so how to make how to uh, improve this script and make some uh, a little bit more code and for uh, the user when it types the the email okay we have uh, the same functionality that we have here to search for um, an existing username or existing name in the database what I want is to search for uh, any existing email so we would not have um, repeated emails okay so if uh, I type an email victor at uh, hotmail.com and that same email already exists in the database a uh, message will appear saying uh, email already uh, registered please type another email okay so I'm going to show you how to do that basically it's this it's pretty much the same thing as we did for uh, the, uh, the name so we have to type a new variable and let's call this uh, our email equals and we can take this line of code here copy paste and instead of name here let's type email and in here let's type email and in here as well let's change this to email okay uh, here let's type another uh, let's say check email equals mysql num rows and parentheses and then inside the parentheses we have to type this the name of this variable here which holds the um, the query to search the um, if there's a um, an email the same email in that we are registering so let's type here our email okay and now in here we type if and we type if check mail is not equal to zero if check mail is not equal to zero echo this email is already just read please type another email okay so here we type else and open curly braces and we will close the curly braces in here okay so perfect I think that's it can proceed okay let's save this let's open our test site let's see if this works refresh and now let's see Victor already exists so let's type a new name or yeah let's leave Victor let's type here email let's type Dennis hotmail.com okay in the name type a name here that you know you don't have a new name okay that you don't you don't have registered in your database so I'm gonna type ja 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 and here type an email that you know you have registered uh, before in your database okay if you're not sure uh, go uh, you can go to the database or here to edit user and see if um, if you have that email registered already so 
type an email that you have registered before and in the password let's type one two three and one two three oops one two three if I click now let's see what happens oops you have successfully registered check mail okay something is not right here oh okay check email it's it's not check mail it's check email okay save that <coughs> and let's go back let's see edit user and I have here uh, Dennis Hotmail okay so register just type whatever name I want and email Dennis hotmail.com and password one two three one two three if I register that's it this email is already registered please type another email okay and you will not register so if you go back change this to whatever one two three one two three register you have, uh, you have successfully registered okay so it works perfectly now what I'm going to show you is also how to make possible to uh, give a minimum uh, a minimum size limit of characters to the password okay and let's give for example a minimum of five characters so if I type three characters only a message if I try to register a message will appear saying your password is too short you have to uh, type a password between uh, 5 and 15 characters something like that okay so to do that we go up here and in here and here we type if and here we type this little uh, built-in function string Lang, which means strength, uh, the string length of, between the parentheses, the string length of the uh, password. Okay, we type here between the parentheses the name, um, the variable that we want to uh, to count. Okay, the string length to see how many characters it has, and in here we type. Um, and uh, the string length of oh you can you can tap you can tap here string length only okay and uh, here let's type string length is if the string length is bigger than uh, three uh, open curly braces and we will close the curly braces here here and type else open curly braces close curly braces and in here type echo and in here type um, your password is too short you need a you need a password with um, you need to type password between uh, three well, let's say four and uh, fifteen characters okay okay let's save this and let's see if it works let's go to the register let's type a uh, new user you 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 hotmail.com password one two three and one two three oops one two three it's too short let's see if it works register and your password is too short you need to type a password between four and fifteen characters let's go back and let's type one two three four one two three oops 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, register, and beautiful, okay, it works perfectly, okay, guys?